Darby, Darby Ham. Hams. And the one in the and... middle. And well, Coach Bud. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're live. We're live on YouTube. So they cut. They caught that. They caught that. So we're the, live on the YouTube. Behind the scenes. Uh... Behind, they got some behind the scenes, all right. right. So I will share from this other. Okay, so like two minutes, I will share from this other. Who is our fourth participant? Uh, that's just uh, I figured out how to how to uh, not chat. <laughs> it won't show again. Uh, I almost figured it out. Okay. See, it was lots, always. It, it was always. It was. Because uh, I, I, I can share from that uh, other. Mm. Okay, so two minutes we're gonna start uh, broadcast to get the attendees in. Um, st I still wanna try. Anyway, won't, won't work, so I just need to start. Uh -huh. I'll just open the... Pull up the photo. Pull up the photo, yeah. Stop share. Coach, in the in the photo of webinar, you had the photo of Ryan Pannon and Mike Tyler and the other coaches. I don't know if it's correct. What's that? Not. In the, you know in in the Hub Coaches International, in you know in, in this account, uh -huh. you had the photo of Mike Tyler, Ryan Pannon, and Aaron Fernie. I don't know if you need to change or must to change or not. It's just just in case. Oh, no. uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, no, uh... I won't. I won't keep it already. I will remove that because. Okay, there you go. All right. So let's start broadcast. So they're, they're trickling in our participants. Teddy, would you like to start? Uh, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, and it's for all participants, it's really good evening because uh, Coach, Coach Herman is in, uh, in Japan now. So Coach Herman, welcome. We're very happy to have you. And we look forward to uh, learning a lot from you this evening. OK, uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good evening. I really appreciate it to, to, to do this. Even in, you know, in this moment where we are living a new world situation with the coronavirus and, you know, the organization is giving to us, a, you know, a place where we can keep learning, keep studying, even keep in touch with social distance. So thank you so for everybody standing. It's, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to be here where so many coaches are. And... I'd like to share with you guys uh, what we do in Japan national team, especially in pick and roll action. Thank you, coach.
let me know if, if we need to wait or why can I start with the presentation? You can, uh, you, you can start with the, like uh, how, how, how did you start coaching coach so that uh, uh, they'll have a, uh, al although I, I posted your infos, but uh, you know, how, how was your journey from uh, okay. your perspective? How did you start? I, I know you came all the way from Argentina. So how was your coaching journey? Yeah, uh, well, uh, I started working in Argentina young national team. It was 10 years ago. Uh, I've been working with Argentina young national team for six years in under 15, under 17, also under 16, in five and five and in three, three by three uh, as well. Um, uh, we won the, the world championship in three by three in Jakarta, uh, in Indonesia, with mm -hmm. Gabriel De, who right now is playing for Real Madrid, and he's getting his own offer for NBA. Uh, and then I became a professional coach, like assistant coach in Olympico La Banda, which is one, one team from my country, Argentina. And then after two years working there, I started to work with Julio Lamas, who is one of the biggest coaches in my country. He used to work with Golden Generation, you know, Ginobili, Escola, Prigioni, Nocioni, so many great players in Olympics games and World Cup as well. And I, I started to work with him uh, and I've been working for five years with him, um, building one style, one philosophy, um, um, you know, we live many, many, many situations. Some good, but many bad situations where the team uh, doesn't, didn't play like we want. And, you know, that was a great opportunity to learn and to, you know, to grow like a, like a coach. Uh, you know, he's my mentor and I really appreciate to the life to, to, to be ready to, uh, you know, to work with him because it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure for me and it's, a, you know, he's learning every day. So that that's, is a little bit my, my, my career. Uh, I am so young, you know, like I am 35 years old and I started to work when I was 25, 24. So uh, I, I think I, I need to keep, le to keep learning even when I was in two World Cup or one Olympic game. So I think like a coach, you always should, you know, be open to, to keep learning and to, to, to keep studying. Okay. Excellent coach. So yeah, uh, of course, I'm sure our attendees uh, would like to listen to your presentation and uh, how Japan has uh, improved tremendously uh, from the first uh, part of the qualifiers and going to the FIBA World Cup. Uh, you well, can go on with your presentation. Okay. Okay. First of all, I, I want to say hello to everyone. Um, you know, when, when we start to our work in our shop in Japan, uh, we figure out, uh, we realize how difficult will be this because, you know, we are from Argentina, the players from Japan, uh, we are speaking Spanish, the players speaking Japanese, and we should work in English. And that's one of the most difficult because uh, you know the, the the communication in our shop is very important and for example in Argentina if I see one player you know he's sad he's hungry with the head coach I can take a coffee with him or I can talk and I can fix the situation but in Japan the culture and the 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 the, the, the life is very uncommon and very strange for us so at that time, we start to build one style because when we arrived there, uh, Japan used to copy, uh, you know, the NBA style, and we thought that, you know, that's not the best situation for them because we don't have the athletes, we don't have so many great players like US. Uh, we start to build the, the Japanese style, uh, which is a Japanese style. Uh, where the 
the the most important is the flow the most important is is like the ball is moving like the player without the ball moving and win uh, is is one style where the five players uh, can maximize each uh, you know each skills and where the five players are touching the ball all the time uh, we don't like when one player hold on the ball all the time and play one one isolation and the other only look we always uh, talk with our players like you know we don't want the the the, the ball see to you uh, we want you move to to give the space to the to the ball this is our idea and and we start to build three years ago uh, the last things like i want to say before to start my presentation is when i start my job in japan i couldn't speak in english just three or four words and um, i start to study because i can i only was able to say pick and roll or works out and I know my English is not good enough. Uh, I'm really sorry to the attendance. Uh, if I, I will try to be understandable, but it's in one part of the you know of the presentation. Some anybody uh, doesn't understand. Please let me know, and I will try to explain in, in better way. I had time to to try to to be my to to do my my best for this presentation even for the philippine coaches because i respect a lot philippine because when i was there i really feel like uh, the, you know the philippine fans and the philippines coach live the basketball and and this is this is an honor for me to 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 be here talking for for you guys uh, i i appreciate so okay let's start with the presentation i i will share my my screen thank you for the kind words coach and don't worry uh, we we understand you pretty well okay thank you so much you're my friend that, that's the truth <laughs> I, I put it here okay this is our photo in the last world cup uh, because uh, we qualify for the World Cup uh, after 21 years. Uh, Japan played in 2006, but because they was the, they were the hosts, uh, it was it was huge to reach the qualification for the JBA and also for us. So when we start the shop, we talk with our player. And we explain us, we explain to, explain to them that we want five kind of shots. The first one is layup. It seems like obvious because every coach is in the in the world wants the same thing. But in Japan, Japan used to used to take many three point shots, even when even without touch a pain. Um, we try to push to our player to touch a pain to to make layup. If we don't can get the layup, we are going to get free throws. And the free throw is another the another higher average in the points per position in the last World Cup was 1.55. And if you can't or you are not available to to get free throws, you can, you know, if because one rotation or, or the other team activates his you know, rotation style, and um, you can get open trees without contest. Uh, because the difference between three point shot with contest, a three point shot without contest is huge. You know, even in NBA, in the last workout was 1.08 points per position um, without contest, but with contest, the average is zero. 0.75, which is a lot. So we need to take shot, or we want, we love to take shot without contest. Uh, the fourth one is uh, finish around basket, no post up, like runners, like floater, like pull ups, but into the paint. Yeah, because we don't have, you know, a low post player who can create by yourself. Here I want to say something because. Uh, with Hachimura and Fasekas, we are a different team. We can give give the ball to them to play uh, low post or to play 
uh, uh, near to the basket. But uh, in the last three years, we only have to Hachimura in seven official games and Fasekas in eight official main games. Is we build our style, our, you know, our flow thinking, then we put the ball to, to them. Uh, I, I, I think it's a big mistake because we don't we don't have to 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 then all the time. Even right now, Hachimura is in NBA, so uh, it's, it's going to be impossible to have him during the season. And the last one, uh, we try to put the ball in, inside with players with advantage, not with the big men, uh, with the perimeter player. We try to put the ball inside with or, uh, Yuta Watanabe or Yuta Ibaba, and after that, I try to create for the others with the staggers, with shuffle cards, with many action to give a space to them, but also to create for the others. So those five uh, points is uh, the shot that we want. And we are trying to be very clear with our players because the most important or the most difficult for us is the communication. You can fix as you talk something if you are not uh, clear, understandable. So for this reason, we put some principles uh, in our regular spacing. The first one, the first one is always look at the ball and, re when, and react when it's moving. So it's, it's like obvious, but you know, when you, were, when you have a shaft in one strange country like Japan, very uncommon for us, you need to be clear in your message and you don't need to give a, a space for the doubts. You need to be very, 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 uh, it's, it's very, very important for us to be clear in, in the message. So at that point, always we, we tell to our players, look the ball and start to read before to get the ball, because then you will have only two seconds. So we don't want the player who start you know stand up and when the ball when he gets the ball start to read and start to react second one is one defender cannot guard two offensive player in our style we want to play always after one drive and kick two against one or three against two it's because we think if we play two against two or three against three we are in trouble for sure there are no doubts. We want to play after one drive and kick, two against one or three against two. Perimeter player must move along with the ball movement. We, say, we, we talk our, our, our key is circle because if the players come to me, I need to move to create the space. Is it the, is the, is the driver goes to the other side, I need to move to, to be uh, in the same line that we start. So it's very important for us, or it's as important as the driver, the player without the ball. Because if we don't give a space to the player who is creating, we are be in problem. So it's very important. And we, we talk with our player, if you don't have the ball and you don't move, you are selfish. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you don't move without the ball, you are selfish. First one is inside player will move without the ball on drive, trying to fill the short corner spots or middle of the paint according to the rules. Why? When we start to, to work there, actually here, we realized that our big men uh, wasn't be able to finish with contact against another big. Uh, in the first Asia Cup, when we gave the ball to the big men and they tried to finish with contact against another big man, always they miss, always. The, the point per position was terrible. So we tried to create some sites where our big men uh, receive the ball and finish against or one perimeter player or without contact because the contact with the, when they finish with contact against guards, the, you know, the average is, is going up a lot. So we try to create and we push our inside player to move because we realize also if we don't get 
15 or 20 points per game from our bigs, it's, it's, impossible, it's impossible for us to get the victory. So we need the points of our big men also. So number five is after pain to touch, it's necessary, it's necessary to relocate as soon as you can to create another passing angle and recover the initial spacing. In, in almost our set plays, we start four open and one inside. So when you make one drive, you have you know, the driver who is touching the paint and the center of the big man who is in the paint also because we want to play with this guy here and you have two players in the paint and three in the perimeter. So after one keep pass, is this guy after the drive don't relocate, we are going in problem to keep playing and to keep our flow because we want to our floor with four player open and only one inside. I think this is the best spacing for the Japanese player because our four player are really great shooter and and he can attack after one drive in the second in the second side. Uh, two days ago or, or, or three days ago, Ryan Panom did a great clinic here, talking about the three perimeter players and two in, two big men. Uh, I think was great, uh, but in Japan, we we trust in, in play four open and and one play inside. Uh, say uh, six is when a player gets the ball, he will have two seconds to read and react. You know, he has relate with the point number one because we push our player to, to start to, to read before to, to, to get the ball. And then you can, you can shot, you can drive or you can pass, but as quick as you can, because it's, you know, I say to you, uh, we want to play after one drive and kick two against one or three against two. If you use more than two seconds, you will finish playing two against two or three against three. That's our rule. Our, and number seven, if we touch a pain with a cut, uh, the space will be the same if we make it right. This, you know, all rules have relate with the pick and roll spacing because we try to put together because if you put Many, many, many situations when the language is a problem uh, will be hard for you to explode the or maximize the the skills of your player. So we try to put the same rules in drives, in pick and roll, and in the cuts. Okay, here there are six draw. Uh, draw. Uh, number one is one easy drive. We want always one player in the corner, always. In the number in the letter B, we can cut because when you when you don't have a space enough space in the corner to keep moving, we give the opportunity to our players to stay in the corner like a shooter or cut. They will decide when. Um, another one, but I want to show this. I think it's better. Yes, for example, yes, play. one drive five always in the pain because we want to play four four open and one and in this case number two moving the other side like a circle because we want this guy like a safety pass and we want one play in the corner and another player to the extra pass or to attack and push the rotation Second one is one easy drive, always four open and one inside, three safety pass, but the number four decide to cut. Is number four gets the ball. The most important is how far in uh, the center, fill the middle of the paint. And also it's very important our two men, our shooting guard, run as quick as he can to the corner. This is very, very important. And three, after B, safety pass, keep running to give another chance if, if the defense rotate. And one, relocate because we want to finish our, our offense playing 
for open and and one inside. I don't know why the the, the video is uh, play and, and and stop, but you can see. Uh, we can see. We uh, we can see. Uh, it's just a bit slow because of um, how it's connected. But um, uh, the uh, attendees are asking if we could get a copy of the presentation after. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is another one. It's one one drive over the five men. Five men should give a space. And the other three move like a circle. Always one player in the corner and three good angles and one safety pay, pay, uh, say, safety player. In this case, the number four is a safety player. We don't want two players in the same line. Never, never. This is very important. Never we want two players in the same line because we think it's a problem for us. And one defender can guard two, two offensive players. And the last one is five men have two options because we don't know what is going to do the, the defense. If the defense goes to the goes to the to the block shot, five men should should move like a like a blue arrow. If the defense stay with him, five men should move like a red arrow. But then when five read and react, the three men should read. If five go under the basket, three men should be lift and one should give a space to three and lift also. Then if five decide to go with the red arrow, our number three should stay in the corner, must stay in the corner, like a shooter, and our one keep running and give another pass, another line pass. In this case, you know, the draw is here, but the number five should be here under the basket to create another line angle pass. And the last one is Number two, have the, the opportunity to, to cut. And in this case, when two cut, number five, the second one, and number five should read and react because number two is the first one. Number two decide to cut. Number five read and react, move, and then three read and react and one read and react. Always the last player should read and react. And everybody moving together. And four, relocate because we want four player open and one player inside. That's very simple, very easier. Um, I think it makes sense with the pick and roll. Some examples. In this case, we are playing with our four men here Abby Schaffer, and we are playing four and one. You know, one in the low post, a little far to the farther to the basket, but it's four and one. And after that, we make a cut. And remember, our cuts, the spacing is like a like one drive. And in this case, our four men cut, and we want one play in the corner and one one play in the four five. So this this guy could be in better stand, but they are in great position. And remember, again, our big, we want our bigs finish against the point guard or shooting guard contacts, not against bigs. In this case, he finished against one point guard and it's easier for us. This is another example. Switch. And we start to play read and react we, we talk with our player drive with vision and in here we are four open and one inside three players to attack against one actually against two but when the last players the last player rotate we are ready to finish 
our big men against one perimetral player, no against one big man. Always we want big men against perimetral player and two against one or three against two. Another situation, we start with one sleep, pop out. Again, two against one. After one pick and roll, we want to play two against one. And we are four open and one inside. We don't want two players in the same line because if he, he wants to pass, he can pass to the corner. And always finish four player open and one player inside. Okay, that's our uh, drives, uh, but those uh, rules can have a uh, relay with the pick and roll. So we use four different kinds of pick and roll spacing. And here it's very important the scouting. Uh, we have many numbers before to, to play a game. Uh, we have smart data. But the, one of the most important that Julio asked me is how the other team usually defend the pick and roll. Uh, for us, it's not important the, the set plays. Uh, it's, it's, it's not very important which play we are going to use. Even we change uh, between one window or other window. The most important for us is uh, in what, in what uh, slot of the cool we are going to play the pick and roll uh, and with what formation. If we want to put our four men uh, ahead of the pick and roll, facing to the pick and roll, our four men behind to the pick and roll, and always it will be uh, because of the other different, uh, make different different rules, according to the rules of the other, of the other team. If the other team defends catch, we are put our player uh, or in front or behind, depending how they rotate after the, the role man made the role. So we have four uh, kind of pick and roll. The first one is top pick and roll, like in the first draw, uh, towards the one player size, sec uh, or pop out, pop out with our four, but always look four open and one inside. Second one is shape pick and roll, like in the, in the, in the at the bottom of the of the slice. You know, shape pick and roll with full corner, and we can put our four men in the behind to the pick and roll, or our four men facing to the pick and roll. Remember, our four men are really great shooters. Another situation, we put a step up pick and roll with the four men in the corner. So uh, we use this this kind of pick and roll many times. And in the last one is side pick and roll with free corner. We used to like a drag pick and roll or in the second side. We create advantage in the first and we finish playing in the with the side pick and roll with the free corner. Okay, top pick and roll. Uh, we play it so to the one player side. Uh, we don't use too much the high low situation because we think if the other thing start to switch or triple switch or hedge with switch uh, between big men, you are helping to the rotation. Uh, so we use the high low only to shift the ball to the second side and prepare one shape pick and roll or or one step up pick and roll. Uh, we use this uh, just at the end of the pick and roll after offensive ribbon because we think it's easier for us uh, prepare the, you know, the court to play one pick and roll, we call sum up or sum down, depending our, uh, the, according to, to the rules in different, or the coverage of the defense, or at the beginning of the possession. Uh, we think it's very good action to, to create middle advantage and finish in the second side. Um, we use to try to explode our stretch four uh, in proposed situation or, or in, in playing the front of the pick and roll. So, we use a lot this, um, um, we we give to our big men some details where we want to set the screen, but I think it's another conversation, another presentation. Right now I, or maybe after the presentation, I can explain uh, what we ask to our big men and how we 
you know, how we should put the, the, the correct screen in the correct position. But now uh, we are talking about tactics. So here are some examples. Topic and roll. We start full open, but everybody knows we are playing one pop out because our four men is shooter. And our five men cuts under the basket and our four men pop out and right now we are four against uh, four open and one inside because this player should relocate to play another pick and roll if we don't have nothing here. But this is the most important. We want to play two. You can see my 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 mouse. Yes, two, yes. Two against one. This is the most important. We don't want to play two against two. We want to play two against one or three against two. Number fifteen can shut or can make extra path. Here is another example. Popau with Rui Hachimura. And remember, we want to have layups, free throws, open three, or runners or floater with our perimeter player. And the five men is under the basket, he's Fasekas. This is against Germany, which is a, one of the biggest team. And we put our big men here and our four here. And again, a space to get layer or floor. And this is another example. When we play uh, after rebound, this, and you put only one player in front of the pick and roll because we don't know if after rebound they have rules like a hedge mm -hmm. or like a switch. We don't know. Uh, and we like to pass the ball ahead when they defend hedge and after that, we start ready to play three against two. And our big men against guards, not against bigs. This is uh, the kind of was we want to attack the pick and roll in the top. When, when for the scouting, we know, okay, they defend hedge, we can attack with the top pick and roll with the pass to the head or, or if they defend flat, we are going to attack with our four, like pop out and our five cutting to under the basket to attack two on two to the rotation. Okay, shape pick and roll. We play this kind of pick and roll with a full corner, always. Never we play the shape pick and roll with an empty corner. Uh, we play this with our power forward facing to the pick and roll in the opposite slot against hedge or switch. Because uh, some teams uh, rotate with the egg four and if you put the, the, the four men uh, facing to the pick and roll, they, they will not be able to, to rotate. And but when they defend flat under or over, we put our four men, great shooters, uh, behind to the pick and roll to attack the bumper. So the strength is the defense will be able to help with one or two players, but never with three because you have one behind to you, behind to the pick and roll. If the defense decide to help with two players, they will come to the front. And we think if the, if the help come to the front, it's easier for our point guards to pass the ball ahead. They don't need to pass the ball behind. Uh, some teams defend last, right? Last is, is very common defend right now. They, they make a hedge and with the last man to the court, they make the, the bump. Uh, we put our four men uh, facing to the pick and roll, but something that the, the, the best thing when, when you prepare your shape pick and roll, they switch between the big men and the perimeter player. If they don't switch, the bump will be with one guard. And we want, again, our big men finish against guards. But if they switch, we pass the ball to our four men and we prepare another shape pick and roll with the four men behind to the pick and roll. And they can to defend uh, last with the, with, the, with the bigs. It's something like that. Let me let me show you. You can see shape pick and roll here, right? Our five, our four, three or two is same, three or two. Okay. We play this. If they different hedge and they switch. 
and put here, and they defend last with the here. We pass the ball to our to the four men, and then DHO, and we have the three men with the five men egg for here, and if they play last, the last will be with one guard, not with one big man. Mm -hmm. We don't want our big men playing playing against big men. We want our big men playing against guards again. Um, here are some, some examples. Remember, the, the, the set play is, is, is not important. The most important is what kind of pick and roll we want to play. In this case, it's one horns. We prepare the shape pick and roll. We already know for the scouting, they will defend flat, flat under and over, but we want to attack this guy, the big man, who is the bumper. Here is one detail. When the defense is under, we put the screen into the, pick, in, into the triple line, in the free throw line, to give time to this guy who is Yudai uh, Baba. He is playing Texas Legend G League. We give space to take the shot and he make the hesitation to take the attention to this guy and then attack. Attack and we punish this, this guy with our four men who is a great shooter with time and space. But if they defend hedge, we already know for the scouting and we put our four men facing to the pick and roll. And we prepare the shape pick and roll. And we want to attack this guy. If S4 is afraid to hell, we are punish them with this shot. And again, we want to attack this guy and this guy. If this guy rotate, we are two against one. Again, DHO to prepare. And for scouting, we know the, the, the pick and roll defense is show, short show. And when the defense is show and short, very short, if you have good ball handlers, like Romeo, like you know, like like the, the, the Philippine guys, uh, Williams, uh, you can make you know the hesitation and attack. And again, when they two against one, we don't want to have to 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 attack two against two. In this case, we miss, but like a, like a staff, Julia, me never talk about miss or make. We talk about the style. We want to take this shot. If you miss, don't worry. It's a shot that we want. If you make, it's better. And the last one, this is in San Lorenzo. In San Lorenzo, we develop a little more. This is Gabriel Deck, who pushed the ball. He's playing in Real Madrid right now. And we start a right playing without call and play one shape he can roll. Again, one short step, and we attack two against one. In this case, to the four men. That was in the final of my country three years ago. This was the shape and roll. We use a lot the shape and roll. We we think when you play the shape and roll, you had a lot of face, and we like um and. Is, is one of our, you know, our most important pick and roll position. Another one is a step up pick and roll with full corner also. And we think the step up is, you have many, many space to, for the rollers and for the short rollers. It's really good space into back cuts. Uh, it's great. Uh, we think it's great to attack the switch and hedge because you have your four men in the corner and this pass is easier because it's short pass and it's face pass. And some teams, uh, when, when you play this pick and roll, they play, their defense goes under, they goes under. 
when they go under, we rescreen, we change the angle, we slip the uh, split the angle, and uh, we are ready to play one shape pick and roll. It's like this. I don't know if you can see. You can see if I if I draw for the uh, attendees participants. Can... You can um, you can click on Coach Herman's. Uh... Here, uh, here is okay. Video picture, and it, it yeah. will become bigger, right? Yes, you okay. can exchange. Yeah, here is okay. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, for example, we play this pick and roll, right? Step up with our four here, two and three, right? But the defense goes under. It's not a problem for us. It's good. If the defense goes un under, almost the team. After goes under, they goes over. If they goes goes under and under, is shot and no more shot. We won't take this shot. But if they goes under, we rest screen. And right now is one shape pick and roll with our four here. Roller. If they give the bound, we attack this. If they defend last, we attack two against one which is very important for us and um, we think it's, it's very good opportunity to make rejection because we have a space here are some examples this is very important when we play this the step up pick and roll during the transition we need to to read if we have one player in the corner or not if we have one player in the corner and the different different eyes, because many teams different eyes, we split the angle and make a short roll. After short roll, we want to attack three against two, the first one cut and the second one like shooter. Always, when, you, when we play setup in transition. Another example, you know, the draw is not important for us. The most important is what is going to do the defense and what is here? We want to attack this guy. This guy. This is the we want to punish this. For this reason, we put our four here. If you had ball handler, good ball handler, you can hesitation and attack. And egg four, this guy can rotate. He should decide. Or well, stop the drive. If he stop the drive, you have your good good shooter here. If he can stop the drive, layer. And we have two perimeter player who is going to give the bump against our big man. Our four men is going to the corner because we know they are going to defend hedge, hedge, and again. This guy is talking with the other two you should make the, the, the bump, which is good for us because we want our big men against perimeter players. We are finding that we want, but if not, we pass the ball in front and we connect with our big and we defend, we finish with our big men against one perimeter player. Uh, Coach, uh, can you yes. repeat how uh, you counter a side ball screen when they ice or yeah, when they side yeah. the back? Can you re just repeat that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For, for, uh, sure. for our uh, attendees. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, you know, when we arrive and it's like a drag screen, but we split the angle, we, we, we say uh, it's one step out, step up. And in the different ice, we split the angle, we change the angle, and we play with a short roll. Okay, that's there you go, short roll. After the short roll, if you play the short roll and those guys stay in the same in the same spot, you should make you know one or two dreaming with your big men to finish in layer. It's hard for us. It's hard. Our big men make you know one or two dreaming and make layer. But if the first one cut, this guy should decide or defend the cut or defend the shooter. In this case, 
we finish with the cats. We attack two against once, one again. Thank you, Roach. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, and the last one, remember, look, we don't want to fight. When our, when our perimeter player are running and we, we want to play with flow. If he push to you, okay, read and keep playing. Keep playing, keep playing with flow, with the dynamic, keep playing. And this is, this is the moment to be aggressive. No, when you don't have the ball. If you don't have the ball and you start to push to them, to push to them, push to them, you are losing the flow. And we don't want to, to lose the flow. We want to keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Don't fight. And when you have the ball, read and react as soon as you can. Rejection, and we are playing. Look at this. This is a good example. Two against one. He helped. And we are two against this guy. Look, he doesn't know where is the ball. And he's a really good player. He's, I respect a lot of this guy. He's a really good player, but sometimes he can make. And the last one kind of pick and roll that we play is side pick and roll with free corner. Okay. We use this in early offense as a drag screen. We play uh, when we want to attack in the second side we start to like like horns or like zipper and we start to play in the second side. We want to be aggressive in first one to, to start to create advantage and keep the advantage in the second side. And we think this situation is, is very important and it's good to, to play after rib and after free throw because you can arrive and start to play without call. Uh, and and it's, it, you have enough space uh, for your big men to, to roll and, and get layer without contact that we want. Or when we set the screen with our four, is our four make a pop out, uh, nobody can help. So the defense will decide if defend the, if, if coverage the, the guards or defend the shot of the, your four, your four men. Uh, we used to have some problem against ice because we want to put the same rule than I show you, you know, change the angle and short roll. But when we do, when we did this, the defense had three three uh, defensive to 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 guard to you, because you don't have players in the corner. So we start to doing this, and we had problem, and we change, and I will show you how we play when we play ice uh, with free corner. Look at this. When the point guard pass the ball, the point guard had the responsibility to say free corner or no free corner. They talk free corner. Sometimes they call it in Japanese. It's not important for us to understand. It's his, I don't know if you can see the free corner, free corner. He's talking free corner, free corner. And yep. the different, different eyes, it's good. You, everybody already knows they different eyes with free corner. Very good for us. And in this case, a slip, we don't change the angle because already know it's free corner. A slip, and we are five open and nobody here. So the first one should cut. Right? Right now we are four open and one inside, like we want. But is this guy pass the ball and a screen and go deep and the other play high low is not good for us. We don't want to play high low. We want to play four and one. So in this case, this guy pop out and we are four open and one inside and we are attacking two against one. We want to create or layup or open three, two against one. Again, he miss. We are not talking about the miss or make. We are talking about one style and what we want to play, how we want to play. Here is another good example. After free throws, Coach Lamas is talking with the bench players. He's not looking the, 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 the court. And everybody knows right now we are playing drag pick and roll without call. 
And in this case, the 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 free corner is the free corner. We we push to him to attack because this guy should decide or defend the drive or defend the shooter. Our stretch for a stretch a stretch for shooter. So in this case, they should switch with 70 seconds, which is a lot. Right now, with many time, we are our four men, our four men against uh, the point guard. This is another example of our spacing. We are not talking about the low post, but in our low post is the unique situation where we play three uh, open and two inside because we think the space in this case is better. In this case, our uh, the a the uh, number A is cutting to under the basket and relocate, read and react two against one again. Pull ups. In this case, if Yuki pass the ball, we are playing again two against one. And when I start my presentation, I say we want or layup or open three. We don't want this this kind of shot. The pull up. Uh, Julio, uh, the the coach Lamas, when we start to with the data and we start to study our team, we realize Yuki Yuki Togashi uh, had great, great is great shooting the pull up and the PPP the points per position for him is higher than than layup. In this case, Julio in front of the all the team he allows to Yuki, you can take the shot. Also with Mako, with Mako Hiroshima, you can, he allows to Yuki and Mako, you can take the shot because it's your shot and your points per position is okay. So you can take, but the others, we prefer not. In the clutch time, you take the shot that you 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 can, but uh, we we prefer layup or open street. Coach, how do you, uh, there's a question on uh, how do you uh, compute the percentages, uh, the points per possession? Yeah, the point per position, we have one stat guys uh, who, you know, the point per position is the, according to your positions, is how many points you score in each position. For example, you you attack and you make one three-point shot. You had one possession and three points. But if you, in the next one you miss, you had 1.5, which is a lot. It's, it's, it's a calculator. It's easier if you want. Uh, I, I can share with you, uh, not now because I need to find, but I can share with you for the next uh, class or for the next webinar how we find the, the, the data, but it's easier, it's easier. You can find in, in internet also uh, points per position and it's, it's so easy. It's your possession and how many points you score in your possession. And you should, uh, you know, you plus your offensive rebound plus your turnovers because it's, it's, it's not, a, we don't like the average, you know, 50% or 40%. We like if we, Take turnovers if we have offensive rebound, if we have a three point shot or two point shot. Thank you, coach, for answering. And here is another example in San Lorenzo. We start with horns and we play in the second side. In this case, we attack with the, you know, with one easy layup, actually one dunk. But I want to show this. Uh, I don't I, I uh, okay I can draw but, but I after the in the second pick and roll we want to attack this guy is this guy held to the roll oh sorry is this guy held to the roll wow oh, sorry Is this guy help the roll? Automatically, we, we will pass the ball to the egg. 
and this guy, the corner guy, will cut. And we, this guy will rotate with deck. If not, if he doesn't rotate, it's easy shot. And this guy should decide or defend the shooter or defend the cut. And this guy will move to here. Uh, you know, again, the scouting is very important, but in pre-season or in the preparation, we practice all our kind of pick and roll according to the rules of uh, the other team. If, if they defend hedge, everybody in the team, coach, assistant coach, statistics, players knows we are playing this kind of pick and roll. If they defend switch, we are playing this kind of pick and roll. Or if they defend flat, we are playing this kind of pick and roll. It's not important the set play. The most important is how we play without the ball and where the ball is going when they defend to punish the rule. That's the most important for us. And that is that we trust a lot uh, in, in our system in, in Japan. So that was all my presentation. Here are my my social networks and my email. Uh, if you like to share to me some question or even now or uh, tomorrow you can write me i i don't have problem to 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 make question is is okay for me or even if if you need something from argentina or for japan i i'm ready and i'm open to help to everybody because i was in the other you know in the other side where so many coaches help to me a lot to to learn and to 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 study this you know this this game that i love so thank you, and sorry for my English. Oh, we understand you pretty well, Coach. How much time does uh, Coach uh, Liama spend on uh, breakdown? And can you give us some breakdown drill to the three on three or three three on zero on the ball screen uh, or pick and roll offense of Japan that you use? Yeah, uh, maybe you can show in the board or yeah, and uh, we. We start our practices always with 10 or 15 minutes uh, doing the spacing three on zero, four on zero, and then three on three, four on four, no five on five, uh, uh, with no, no with the pick and roll, with the drives, drives and cuts, okay. drives and cuts. And then we start to play pick and roll action, um, but according to the rule, you know, According to the rules, is is they play uh, flat? Okay, we start to play in four on four or four on zero, but always thirty minutes between uh, drives and pick and roll. We we spend in our in our practices all days, all every days, every days. What was your scouting report on uh, Philippine team? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> so. It'll yeah, be good. I, yeah, I remember different the the Williams, the the the, the point guard. Jason Cast William, Jason yeah. William, yeah, Castro. Jason Castro, different the isolation for him, and when he used the isolation, he used to go to the left hand, his right, but he used to go to the right hand, and 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 Blache, Blache make two cross and goes to the right. Um he loves to pass the ball, so we stop to him with the with the, our four men and the others uh, make aggressive fakes. Um, we try to give the shot for number five. I don't remember the name right now. The, the you know uh, he played a lot of time. The number five, uh, the the small forward. Oh, Norwood. Guy. Norwood? No, Norwood? Norwood. Norwood. Cape we Norwood. Give, Will you give, give the, him the shot? We give the shot, not because he's bad shot. He's a good shooter, but we prefer, you know, uh, we, we thought Philipp Philippines is, is was better than us, and we need to make some bets to, to try to, to win. So that was the, 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 the turning point to, to play against Philippines. I think it doesn't work because we we, we lose, you know, both games. Yeah, well, well, you got much better down the fourth window, third, fourth window. You got much better. Your team got much better. Yeah. And uh, so, what? what uh, you were uh, pre-broadcast. You were uh, telling about uh, 
your uh, experience here in Manila and how you you enjoy how you uh, uh, how the fans was able to so tell, tell tell more about your experience when you were here. Well, uh, when I was in Manila, I you know I fall in love with Philippines because uh, the, the you know the Nostra and the, the the fans was great. I we arrived to the to the practice before the game and there were 100 person waiting for the Philippine guys, uh, even in the hotel. Um, after that, we play one Windows games uh, with you know uh, 28 thousand person. You know the attendance was great. The 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 this, the, the arena one of the biggest I was in my life. So the, the Philippines, you know, the Philippine guys are, are really crazy. <laughs> I'm really crazy with the, the basketball. They love the basketball and I love too. So we are connecting, you know, because I, I respect a lot. And I like, like Philippine guys play, you know, they play with the hair out. So I respect a lot. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Um, a question, because you, you have background uh, coaching in uh, Argentina and you're from Argentina. What's the difference between the uh, Latin American game to the Asian game or, you know, yeah. how different uh, or how similar? Yeah, uh, you know, Asia is huge. Asia is huge. I, I, I don't realize uh, before to came here because we play against Qatar and the difference is seven hours, uh, that's something like that, or Kazakhstan is like Russia, uh, Asia is huge. There are so many different kinds of, of style because Qatar play more like, like Europe or, or uh, uh, Australia play different game. So there are so many and America is big, but not like, like Asia. I think the, the you know the the most uh, important difference uh, is uh, between at, uh, America and some teams of of Asia is the development of the leagues. For example, in one there is is like Iceland and uh, Argentina have more time development the leagues. This is a I think the the most important difference between one of those and. Um, yeah, that, that's that's uh, the most important for me. There's some more questions. Uh, Japan shooting has improved a lot. Can you share some drills that you use to improve their shooting? It's from Clarence. Coach uh, Clarence. What 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 drills? Yeah, uh, thank you, Coach Clarence, for the for the. Uh, answer. Uh, we don't use a lot, you know, different drills. We'll uh, after the practices we put you know some uh, some goals like uh, you should make uh, in in ten position uh, five to seven if you need to make five to seven shot if you can't in one spot uh, do this you start again okay you should make uh, five to seven five to seven five to seven five to seven five to, or five to five right. Five to seven, five to five. If you miss, if you are four to seven, you start again all the spots. So it's like a mental mental drill. Uh, but, mental practice. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, we have a question from uh, Jordan, all the way from Kuala Lumpur. Jordan, can you? Hi, hi, yeah, hi coach. Hello, Jordan. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I know you coach. Uh, you used to coach the uh, national youth team, right? Uh, no. Uh, no. In in Japan. Yeah. Uh, no, I I, I, I help to the young teams, but no, yeah. no, no coach. Only senior team or B team. Ah, uh, yeah, the B team. Yeah, B team. Yeah. Yeah. So, do they play the same uh, philosophy or same system all through the youth team to the senior basketball team? Uh, it's the same philosophy uh, okay. between B, uh, B team and A team because in B team we used to put you know the young talent and we try to put the play in the correct position because uh, many times happen here uh, you have one player 6'6 six, six, and he's playing like a, like a center 
And if we start to think in the international competition is not tall enough, um, mm -hmm. we push to him to play like a small forward. So we use the same spacing, but in the last Sean's Cup, we used to run some some uh, some set plays where we start five on zero, no four on one, and we finish far, uh, four on one with one shape pick and roll. Or but we start the set play five on zero to try to push to our player to touch a pain with more spaces. Yeah. What What about the under eighteen or under sixteen team? Uh, how do you bring those guys up to to get used to the system that the senior national team is playing? Yeah, uh, right now the the second assistant coach of uh, the senior team, Sako, is is working in the young categories. Um, it's actually the style is the same, but not the same set plays because we in the young category we get more space to to the player to create. Uh, play with less pick and roll, with less of full screen, with less low low post to create and read and react every time. Um, if you know, if the player can read and react and move without the ball, is is gonna be easier for them to to be into the team in the senior team. To, to, to if they can defend and they can play without the ball and they are normal shooters. Uh, they will play in the. They they will come to play in the in the senior team. So th that means you you guys are trying to improve the basketball IQ on the court, the read and react. For sure, this is the okay. most important. This is the most important right. for us. Thank you, coach. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, Thank you very much, Jordan. Uh, there's some more questions, Teddy. Yeah. Sure, we have a we have a question from Coach uh, Emerito. He's asking. How is player development different between Argentina as compared to Japan and the Philippines? Well, uh, Argentina in by the time have 10, 10 players in NBA and many players in Euroleague. So they start working with the Argentinian coaches. Argentina coaches had a great school of coaches. Um, after the player start with the Argentinian coaches, move to Europe and play in, in better competition, and then move to NBA. Um, you know, you are uh, the same level than the, than the competition you are. So if you work in Euroleague, the the competition is is pushed to you to be better. If if you you know if you don't adapt, you you don't adjust to the competition, you will be out. So. I think this is the, the the most important difference between Japan and and Argentina. But now, Rui Hachimura, Yuta Watanabe uh, are in NBA or G League. Um, for example, Yuta Ibaba, the who is one young young guy, who uh, he was to he went to US and he played last year in G League in Texas Legend. And I think when most players go uh, outside to Japan, uh, the, 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 the basketball is, is improved a lot. And, and the B League is, is really good right now, too. Uh, the B League is growing up. Uh, the, the team of B League are improving much, much better year by year. So I think Japan could be better than now in five or six years. Thanks, Coach. Uh, we have another question from yeah, Coach Wayne. What is your philosophy on attacking a blitz or an on-ball trap off a Sorry. ball screen? Uh, my what, philosophy? What is, yeah, yeah uh, on attacking a blitz. And uh, they okay. trap, trap the yeah, ball yeah, screen yeah, hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, we attack the blitz or the hedge uh, in the same way that when they made the, when they made the step out. Same. It's one dribbling, one dribbling behind try to pass the ball ahead, front to the pick and roll, and short roll, and the, sec the first one cut, and the, the second one is in the corner to attack two against two, two against one. This is the same way, like, you know, for example, we have this, with the ball, our five, set in the screen, X1, X5 here, This guy should make one dribbling behind, 
to give a space, actually this is a tricky, to give a space to our five to run as, as soon as he can. And we have two options, or this pass ahead to connect this player and attack with this, or sometimes when the, when the blitz is so aggressive, F5, F1, we pass the ball directly. And here, what, if this guy take the roll, easy pass, but sometimes they take with this, this guy bad cut, and this guy come here. And we attack three against two defender, or pass under the basket or pass to the shooter. They should decide. Uh, this is the how we attack the the you know the trap. Thank you, thank you. I think uh, Coach uh, Arif has got a question, but uh, can you just diagram it? I know you discussed it earlier. It might be a bit late. Coach Arif is asking about uh, how uh, you attack the ice. So it's just a uh, diagram with uh, yeah, again. Yeah. Good, uh, we, thank you. We had two different options. Okay. And the point guard is very important. The point guards read and call free corner or not. You know, they talk in, in Japanese. I don't know, but they know. If we have full corner, we play the step up, we split the angle, and short roll, right? Two players. Pass to the short roll, the first one cut, and the second one ready to take a shot. Because we think if we play one short roll and we pass the ball here to our bigs and this guy is staying in the same position you need to attack with many dribblings and when they decide to make fake maybe it's a turnover with our big men not with Rui Hachimura but we have Rui Hachimura only in seven games so the first one cut to take this attention and the second one to take the open three-point shot. This is the first one. But if when the point guard pass the ball and this guy, nobody's here, he say free corner. This guy come. When they change the situation, the position of the feet, he's come and get back, split. This guy can attack and pass the ball. The first one, we are five open and nobody inside. Cut and come here. Sometimes, sometimes this pass can work, but you know, we have the ball with our four, our two, our one, our three and our fight is big under the basket. Here we give the, the opportunity to screen between perimeter players, but they decide, pass the ball, and another pick and roll. In this case, if the four men go under, he should out, and we don't want to play high-low. We don't like to play high-low because we think help to the player if, if they wrote, if they play switch it's easier for the defense to take your players so this guy after pick and roll play pop out and we attack with this this guy the x3 to attack two against one this is how we attack this this the ice defense depending how we start our formation with free corner or without with, or with full corner. Uh, thank you, Coach. Uh, Teddy's got the last question for you, Coach. I have time. Coach, I have time. <laughs> yeah. I Coach, time. My, my, my question is what we talked about before we went live. Uh, what are the five most important qualities a basketball coach should have to be successful? Yeah. From your yeah. time in Argentina and in, in Japan, what what could you share with our coaches? Yeah, 
Uh, I if think he, I think is if you if you do your job with passion, uh, if you try to be your best version every day in every practice, and you you know you prepare your mind every practice like like a one game. Uh, this is the, the most important to be successful because uh, there are not many many coaches who wins every game. Even Popovich, Popovich have two or three titles, four 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 rings, but sometimes they lose more than even in in the you know in this in this season they are they were uh, out of the playoffs. So, uh, and I think the the Pop Popovich is one of the best coaches of the world. So even Selko Bradovic, uh, Fenerbahce is out of the final four of the of the Euroleague. So, but in my opinion, uh, if if you are your best version and you find your best your best version every day, every practice, you are going to be successful. Uh, if you think, or, or in my opinion, if I think uh, be successful is win or lose. Uh, in my case, uh, I will be more time frustrated than in showing the, you know, my job. So I think uh, the most important is try to to be your best version. Thanks, coach. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So, uh, Tendis, you, you still got, got uh, five more minutes to ask questions. For sure. For sure. I, I, I'm here. I'm, you know, uh, I, I try to be honest with you and try to be, you know, try to, to do the best job here also. Uh, when you're scouting, what's, uh, what, what are the, 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 your main points of, uh, yeah, of I got uh, attention or main I points guess. you want to see aside from you know, the ball screen defense? What else do you want to scout? I got it. Uh, first, uh, I start always for the other team, which are the the strengths. If they play pick and roll or 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 off all screen or low post, but with data, for example, uh, you can see one team who play many pick and rolls, many pick and rolls, and they score uh, one zero point nine per points per position. Uh, uh, they. For example, they play uh, 20 pick and roll during the game, and they score 0 0.9 firm per points per position in all the game. But they play 10 times uh, off all screen, and they score 1.4 uh, points per position. So I will I will tell to Julio, Julio, the you know the main option for them is pick and roll. But they score a lot with off ball screen, and I put in the video or or, or, or in the reports, you know, the point per position in pick and roll uh, is this, and the point per position in off ball screen is this, and then when I, you know, I I will find okay in the pick and roll they score uh, 1.5 against flat, a uh, 1.2 against hedge, okay the best option for us is even hedge. Because they score less point than if they if they attack against flat, uh, and then I try to find if if they have some special defense or special offense when they put the second the, the bench players, uh, and and then I start uh, with the defense how they defend how they defend the the pick and roll. How they defend the low post if they make trap or not? How they defend the ball screen if they chase or they play gap? And then with the data, if they defend chase in the ball screen, how is? If they defend flat, how is the point per position? And then we decide with Julio which kind of pick and roll we are going to play, which kind of uh, set play we are going to play to a Usually to start the game, after with the game uh, can happen many things. Uh, in this case, it's my you know it's my responsibility to say. For example, we take a decision to Norwood to get the shot. For example, because we think Norwood is is really good attacking the ball, attacking the basket, attacking the rim. 
and we prefer to give the shot. If Nor would make the first two, I need to be, you know, in my mind, very eyes to say, Julio, stay in the rule, stay in the rule, because in the next one, he's going to miss, because the average of the points per position, he, he's going to miss. In this case, I, I should be very clear and try to, to, to push to Julio to stay in the, you know, in the, in the rule that we uh, decide. But for example, I say uh, against uh, Turkey, against Turkish, uh, it's good. To, it's good to attack the shape pick and roll because they defend next. Uh, uh, when they defend next, we make the sample. So, but when the and put uh, because the defense of Makoto is bad defense and the defense of Hashimura is bad defense. Put those guys together in the pick and roll. But when the game starts, they change the, the rule and they defend hedge. So in this case, it's, it's very important for me to say, Julio, they are different hedge. The, uh, the, the rule that we put or we decide doesn't work, we need to change. In, in one case, I need to say, Julio, okay, say in the rule, say, say, say in the, in the plan. And in another situation, I need to say, Julio, we need to change as quick as we can because it doesn't work. Excellent point. Um, there's some coaches that are asking what was the app that you use or what uh, program you use to video edit? Yeah, uh, we bought in Japan one program who is the name is RT Tactics. Uh, uh, is from England. I don't know if, I, I, if, if somebody wants uh, needs help. Uh, follow me in Twitter or Instagram, and I can share the contact the, of the person who who bought to add the the program. Okay, thank you, Coach. You're Again. welcome. All right, uh, to wrap up our uh, discussion for tonight, uh, I'd like, uh, of course, to thank uh, Coach Sherman here for joining us and sharing his knowledge of the game and uh, sharing his information also to our young coaches. Uh, you can contact him. Um, and uh, he's very open. I've been uh, uh, exchanging uh, emails with him and he's very accommodating. And uh, of course, uh, he also learned from the coaches. So he's giving back to other coaches. Just as, uh, if you have time, I can show you one scouting when we were in the, in the World Cup. I can show you one individual. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Or maybe... Oh, one one scouting one scouting with, with the, the, would be very good. This year, uh, let me let me find out. Uh, I will show. Okay, let me. For example, this is how we have the the you know. You can see. Yes, we can see. Okay. Can see, uh, yeah. Here yeah. we got the in in all hours. Uh, offensive in our, our in, you know this is during the windows mm -hmm. and we have in all our set plays the point per position the average the full draw and we can decide the one win on to the other uh, which is the best you know for example we play head we play 10 possession and we score 14 points we score 1.5 but for example we play in homes seven times and we score 1.40 or Honsan we play only three times but we score 2.33 in the next window we should play more time Honsan because the point per position is a lot and less time Sundown because the point per position was too bad that's that's how we use the data in all the in all the the windows another example is for example, here we we share with the players here our principles. Uh, let me uh, Turkey. Uh, here is one we we show this to our players before to the game. Our game plan, the matchups, the kicks, the keys. Before in, in the locker room, we show this to our players. It's very simple. 
-hmm. In the low post, off for the screen, emergency, emergency green, infrared action with Ilasova because Ilasova is a great shooter. Chase everyone, focus in the shooters. And in for the scouting, we change some rules and in one. And here is the pick and roll defense with, without one player, black or green. Um, and how we want to start with the head, horn side, fire, and sundown, and the keys. This is this is one example. And I want to show you is I have the one video, I think. This is not. Uh, let me let me see. We show like this, and then we show like this. Here is, is here is one example. Just one example. I think I'm can help. We put this very simple with the with the key points to try to know to every player of them. Uh, playbook. Uh, Yeah, this is it's very simple. This is like like we we work in the work. That's that's our our job. Thank uh, thank you thank you so much for the Thanks, sharing. Coach. Thank you so much again. Um, any parting words, coach, for uh, any advice for the coaches before we wrap it up? We just you know you 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 have the floor again. Uh, Hoop Coaches International, Blackwater would like to thank you for your spending your time with the coaches, not only from the Philippines, but also from the region. We have coaches from um, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, and uh, other uh, Southeast Asian nations that uh, were here. And um, again, we'd like to thank you for sharing your knowledge. Uh, you have the floor, Coach. Thank you so much for the invitation, and we keep in touch. Yes, thank you so much. Again, uh, Thanks, Coach Herman. Blackwater is supporting the Florida Riders. Uh, yeah, make sure to uh, visit our um, social media uh, on how you can help uh, the Pasig uh, City General Hospital fr Frontliners. Again, we have another session at 8 p.m. with Coach uh, Giovanni Rivera. So he's, uh, he's a, a well-traveled coach from that uh, from a scout now to a GM. So he's got a lot of uh, interesting insights that you can share. And also he will have a special session for those of you who, does, who are into a video coordinate, uh, uh, who are video coordinators, we'll have a special session, private session with him. Uh, if you guys are interested and he's gonna share how he uh, does, like how Herman here uh, breakdowns uh, his um, uh, breakdown films or scouting videos and how what program does he use and uh, he has a pro coach Giovanni has got a program that he's willing to share also so thank you so much and uh, good evening coach Herman good evening to everyone and uh, time check it's 7 almost 7 30 we have uh, time for a quick dinner before we head to the next session with coach Giovanni again if you're having a difficulty um, logging on to Zoom, you just have to refresh. Uh, if you still having difficulty, you can always catch us uh, live on YouTube in our Hoop Coaches International channel. And also uh, make sure to subscribe. And uh, uh, also, we will, giving out cert we will be giving out certificates. So we will announce the criteria for the certificates. You should be able to attend at least 10. So make sure you get your Zoom uh, registration ready because we, uh, we it's uh, very hard to monitor the attendees via YouTube Live. So uh, we're going to give out a um, uh, certificate of attendance to those who attend 10 or more sessions. Again, uh, 
Uh, coach, thank you so much and uh, good evening, everyone.